In the depths of our solar system, a mysterious moon holds the secrets of potential alien life. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going on an interstellar journey to the fascinating moon of Jupiter, Europa, where we unravel the thrilling mysteries hidden in this silent, icy sphere. Europa, the fourth largest moon on the planet Jupiter, is considered one of the most promising places to search for potential alien life in our solar system. As our civilization is struggling with the limited technology to find evidence, let's look through what makes this giant moon become a compelling candidate for expedition of extraterrestrial life. Europa, a world covered in ice, conceals a hidden treasure beneath its frozen shell. Europa is believed to have a subsurface ocean beneath its icy crust. This ocean, which contains more water than all of Earth's oceans combined, is kept in a liquid state due to tidal heating generated by Jupiter's gravitational pull. Liquid water is a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. Europa has a very thin and tenuous atmosphere. In fact, it's often referred to as an exosphere, which means it's more like a trace amount of gas rather than a substantial atmosphere like that of Earth or even Mars. Europa's exosphere primarily consists of oxygen, albeit in very low densities. This oxygen is believed to be primarily created through processes like radiolysis, where charged particles from Jupiter's radiation belts break apart water molecules on Europa's surface, releasing oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen, being very light, tends to escape into space, leaving behind a trace of oxygen. The extremely low density and thin nature of Europa's exosphere make it inhospitable for human life, and it's not a significant factor in the Moon's potential habitability. Instead, the focus of astrobiology and exploration on Europa centers around its subsurface ocean and the possibility of life existing in that liquid water environment beneath the icy surface. Oceans may contain other sources of oxygen, such as compounds dissolved in the water or released from the Moon's interior. These could contribute to the overall oxygen content. This icy moon is far away from the sun, unlike Earth. The energy it gets from the sun is too little to sustain life. However, Jupiter's strong gravity creates tides on Europa that stretch and tug the moon producing heat. The exact thickness of Europa's icy crust is not precisely known, but it is estimated to be around 15 to 25 kilometer thick on average. This icy shell covers the Moon's subsurface ocean, and its thickness can vary in different regions of Europa. Some areas might have thinner ice, while others could have thicker ice. Europa's icy surface has regions with fractures and ridges, suggesting geological activity. Tidal forces from Jupiter create heat, driving geological processes that could produce energy sources for potential life, similar to how Earth's geothermal energy supports deep-sea ecosystems. On Earth, Hydrothermal vents at the ocean floor support diverse ecosystems of extremophiles. Extremophiles are organisms adapted to extreme conditions. Europa may have similar hydrothermal vents on its seafloor, where hot, mineral-laden water interacts with the icy crust. Such environments could potentially provide the right conditions for life to emerge. Europa's subsurface ocean likely contains a variety of chemical compounds, including minerals and salts. These chemicals, combined with the energy provided by geological activity, 
could provide the necessary building blocks for life to form and thrive. Europa may contain organic molecules, essential for life, delivered by cometary impacts or produced through chemical reactions in its subsurface ocean. These organics could serve as the basis for biological processes. Astrogeologists analyzing data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope have identified a source of carbon dioxide on Jupiter's moon Europa, which could help determine whether the icy world is capable of sustaining life. According to the data, the carbon dioxide is located in a specific region of the moon, likely originating from the subsurface ocean. The moon is also exposed to immense amounts of Jupiter's intense radiation, which extends far beyond the planet, Europa's thick ice shell and subsurface ocean could provide a protective shield against harmful cosmic and solar radiation, creating a more stable environment for potential life. While life below Europa's thick ice shell would be well protected, the researchers wanted to know if one could still find evidence for life on the surface or if it would be destroyed by radiation. Material from Europa's ocean may be ejected through geysers or cracks in the ice, which could allow for the sampling of its subsurface ocean without needing to drill through kilometers of ice, making it easier for future missions to search for signs of life. This scenario will be used in future missions on Europa to find traces of life. NASA is sending the Europa Clipper spacecraft to conduct a detailed exploration of Europa. Its main mission is to investigate whether the icy moon, with its subsurface ocean, has the capability to support life. Its expected launch is due on October 2024. Understanding Europa's habitability will help scientists better understand the potential for finding life beyond our planet and guide us in our search. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more space exploration content. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic adventure, and we'll see you in the next video.